got the check on me, nigga. That's a fofo. All right, so look. Everything in this video that I'm going to talk about is 100% facts and should be taken seriously. Uh, all you motherfucking uh, fanboys of these fucking clickbait ass fucking GTA 5 YouTubers, kill yourself, okay? You don't even, you you are so retarded to fall for the simplest shit, some of the most easy, simplest shit, such as clickbait, that you s supply this these motherfuckers with power and you are too blind to see what the uh, true scum that they really are. So, in, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the GTA 5 YouTubers. Now, the GTA 5 YouTubers, these GTA 5 U I, I don't even call them GTA 5 YouTubers. I just call them, like, motherfucking, like, clickbait-ass YouTubers that, that play GTA 5. That's all, I, um, that's all I call them. Because they don't even play GTA 5. All they do is just post content like GTA 6 confirm, GTA 6 this, GTA 6 that. How the fuck are you guys going to post GTA 6 talk about GTA 6 when um there's no official confirmation for it that's like me making a whole video about Midnight Club 5 confirmed with there's no official proof or evidence that it's out yet or it's going to be coming out yet but that um like you see like it's the same thing now these motherfuckers, now on screen, as y'all see, Mr. Boss for the win, and these, these niggas channels is so dead, bro, I am so done. These guys be having like 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, I am so done. Lispy Jimmy has 4 million subscribers, I repeat, 4 million. Do you know how much 4 million is? That's 2, 2 millions, bitch. Like, how the fuck do you have 4 million subscribers, and you can't even pull 100k viewers a video? That's how you know that you're, that people do not like you. That's how you know people don't like you. Now, as you'll see on the screen, like, I'm pulling, I'm showing up facts of, like, I'm pulling up statistics and whatever, or, like, views on all the previous videos, so, uh, so I can back my stuff up. Now, uh, the, these channels be so different, they can't even pull 50k viewers. That's, that's the crazy part. 50k, you have 100 million, you have 1 million subscribers, 2 million, 3 million, and you can't even pull 50k viewers a video without even clickbaiting. That's the crazy part. But, back to the GTA 5, now back to the GTA 6 thing. The GTA 6 thing, this needs to stop right now, because this GTA 6 thing is getting too wild. This is getting way too out of hand. And I should say, <coughs> Fernando, <coughs> Now, Fernando, he is known for um, making GTA 6 uh, confirmed videos, GTA 6, GTA 6 that, uh, GTA 6, GTA 6 that, like, he, he be making, like, I got GTA 6 5, GTA 6 early, what do you, what will happen if you uh, unplug your PS4 when it's doing something, like, this and this, this and that, such, 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 how are you gonna post GTA 6 gameplay, or GTA, or claim that you had GTA 6, when there's no official confirmation of GTA 6 by Rockstar, or any one of these, like, big companies that like i said before that's exactly like me posting videos about a new midnight club 5 game confirmed well well it is kind it's kind of leaked it's kind of up in the air because um like there's been some screenshots leak but that's not the point the point is is that these gta 5 youtubers must be stopped at all costs because these gta 5 youtubers they have stooped so low and it's not even about gta 6 or clickbaiting it's even low they're even stooping to the level of stealing other people's videos and posting them on their channel with no with like no shout outs no nothing no permission from the actual people that post them and and like don't even post the original link in the video and or in the description or even what they do and even when they do post the uh, original link they put it way down in the description so you can't even find it and therefore you can't even know where who it's from or whatever without actually finding out for yourself that's why, that's why I don't even claim to be a GTA 5 YouTuber, because do you know how embarrassing it is to be a GTA 5 YouTuber nowadays? When, when people think about GTA 5 YouTubers, they don't even think about GTA series vids, or, I shouldn't even say expertise, because expertise, he's more on his vlog and shit now, but he still plays GTA 5 and, and whatever, but they don't even think about guys like GTA series vids, like, people who are dedicated or have actual channels surrounding about GTA 5, or just the Grand Theft Auto series in general. Now, let's be Jimmy. He is known for actually stealing people's videos without their permission, not even giving them a shout out, no nothing, um, in the in his video, and not even linking the original script, not even linking the video in the description to watch it for yourself, and therefore basically making money off other people just am stretching the video out to ten minutes long just so we can get extra ad revenue and getting paid for other people's content that he never created himself now 
uh, when I was po when I was um actually looking through his videos, I noticed that a couple of videos was by Violet First. Now, uh, Violet First is a freakout channel um that I that I watch all the time and is actually actually hilarious. But he actually stole several of their videos, several. I'm talking about dozens. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that he never linked, he never posted the original link in the description down below. He never did nothing. He didn't even shout him out. He just roasted it down, stretched the video, video to 10 minutes long, got paid, uploaded, and went on about his day. And went on and did the same exact stuff that he does later. Now, on screen here, here's my, here's my view, here's my views. Just, for y'all fanboys that support these niggas and support these fucking cunt, cunt ass fucking excuses for human beings like here's my shit because i got the shit to back it up I, my shit i when i talk shit i can back it up so here's my shit on screen right here like you know what i'm saying like of course i'm not gonna be pulling in the big views like them because my channel is around 350 subscribers they're at around like 1 million 1 million plus so, but still, I still, if you're not, if you're not, I, I can tell you right now, if you, if you have like a million subscribers and you ain't even pulling 100k viewers a video, you can delete your channel right now. Because obviously, you do not deserve to be on this YouTube page no more. And it's fair, and it's time for these other littler YouTubers to like take over and take your spots. Well, not necessarily just take your spots in general, but like replace you. And personally, nobody would miss you if you're being replaced. So, so yeah, that's my, uh, and also, another thing, I also wanted to say, Mr. Boss for the win, like, all these, all these GTA 5 YouTubers, they be getting exposed recently, that's what I, that's what I've been wondering. Now, Mr. Boss for the win, I, I made a whole reaction video about this in the past, but he actually been exposed for doxing his fans, or well, not necessarily fans, but anybody that talks shit about him regardless, and then just, um, get his dox to pers to try, I guess, like, silence them, or tell them to back off, or whatever, but I guarantee you, if you try to dox me, you, you will get, you, you can, I will guarantee you. Like, if I even see you in person, like, I'm throwing these hands. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be no, oh, what's up, man? This, this, is whatever. I'm gonna sucker punch you. In the, you, if, if I even, if you, if I even see any of these GT5 YouTubers in real life, they'll probably have to just press charges on my ass. Simple. But anyways, bro, I, like, these niggas are plate cleaners and realize they need to leave the room. And I'm gonna just leave it at that, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro.